guys, Bushcraft Family back again with another video, and this is my morning talk. Um, today is Friday, so I'm going to say it again. It's Red Shirt Friday, remember everyone deployed. And I'm a firm uh, supporter of our military, um, even though they're going through a lot right now. <sighs> yum, yum, yum. Okay, guys, um, let's see. I've been doing a lot of research on um, our, our ports and things because I'm getting a lot of... I, I actually have somebody that works there. Um, I'm not going to divulge any names or anything like that, but um, they send me texts every once in a while of what's going on, um, if they're behind... How many how how many hours it takes for our trucks to get loaded and hauled out of there? Well, and this this is in um, Long Beach. Um, I know there's uh, there's other ones which which I'm gonna do a, a big video on this um, probably next week because um, I'm I'm still I'm still getting more information. I want to get. I want to get more detailed information about uh, some others, like uh, Netherlands. They have a really high end, one of the best ports there is. Um, but we're going to talk about the one in Long Beach right now, which is our Achilles heel, as you you might put it, right now for our our supplies that are coming in. Um, <clears throat> Now things things are going to get really expensive if you can even get things um, parts for furnaces uh, just anything digital computerized anything like that because it's it's just not this port that we're we're not getting things into it um, it's it's a lot of them and it's it's just not. United States it's other countries too which like I said I'll, I'll go I'll go into that a lot more um, China's having issues right now um, but we'll go we'll go to the one in Long Beach I had got a message saying that um, all operations had, had um, went down at the Long Beach port and I asked what happened and he had told me that um, there's issues with their AI and which I didn't know this I didn't I didn't get go into real big detail on this but the majority of the Long Beach one is AI uh, artificial intelligence it's all ran by computers and everything like that I mean there there's a lot of actual workers there but one of the things that um, happened, okay, when a, a ship comes in and docks, there's cranes that pick up the containers and pull them back and drop them, not drop them, but lower lowers down onto trucks. These trucks are not manned trucks. They're, there's nobody running them. It's all computerized. And it gets a, a signal where to put this container well um, these trucks went haywire somehow something happened I don't know what it is but they started colliding with each other just headbutting each other boom boom going back and forth and they, they couldn't shut these things down by the computer or anything so they actually had to get people jumping on those and pulling the plug basically I'm not sure how they do it or anything like that but it's basically what they had to do now w when this happens that's a day that they could not unload anything because they have no trucks to 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 move this stuff they don't have pe they don't have trucks for an actual person to get in and move this where it's supposed to go it's all computerized so that meant we got backed up again 
and we're well over one at that time we we're over 170 180 ships in the bay at that time um, there's a few tankers but the majority of them were the, the ones with the shipping containers on them. sorry for the loud noises <laughs> so that put us behind now, like I said, I want to go into more detail on these, um, the ports and everything. But from what I gather, the, the ship comes in, it has to be checked, it has to get all the paperwork done before they, it can get unloaded. They unload it, it gets put in a certain area, all the containers, because they have to be checked. Um, I don't, some of them do, some of them... There's some that gets checked and some some that they check the, the tags on them. They have tags to make sure they're still sealed and everything like that. And sometimes there's custom comes in, customs uh, comes in and checks the whole boat, and which could make it even more late. But then it also has to get loaded again. And the, the loading actually takes longer than the actual unloading from what I, what I gathered. But the whole issue of this is one of the reasons we are having shortages. And you notice that it's actually getting brought up on our wonderful media now that we're getting shortages all of a sudden. Um, this has been going on for so long and I find it interesting some of the things that, that I report um, come true in the future. <laughs> it's almost like I got a crystal ball or something. But um, I just see trends and things and I, I, I do research on them. And then I find out that it's getting worse and worse. And then eventually if things progress the way they do is when bad stuff happens like um, the cyber attacks and things like that um, going after the hospitals um, yeah just just for that alone all of a sudden I'm I get I get ca cable TV anyway because it's a, a package deal so I watch cable TV at night and whatnot and some of the shows that I watched I noticed that the majority of them are getting uh, cyber attacks and it's they're attacking the power grid and they're attacking um, hospitals ransomware and stuff like that I, fi I find it kind of odd how I say something about this three four months back in the past and, and then all of a sudden it's it's here now, a majority of it doesn't get put on our social media um, because it's it's not, I don't know, I, I really don't know if the government tells them not to put this stuff on or it's just not shock and awe to where they get all the views and, and things like that. What do you guys think? Um, some of the things that, that they were they report, like that they'll go on reporting some of the weirdest things, um, like this the Gabby thing. Now, it's very heartbreaking that somebody dies and in, in things like that, and then there's this guy that either did it or didn't do it or. I don't know. I, I really don't follow it enough to to understand it. But what I'm getting at, people die every day, strange, weird ways, um, different things. Why is that news thing so so popular? Why is it plastered everywhere? It, it's probably gone by now, but 
um, it seems like it goes away and then boom it's back again and I find it odd of all the things that are going on right now why is that sorry about the neighbors AC coming on but you get you get what I'm getting at though um, why is that on the news to me our food shortages, our short gas shortages. Um, there's there's a lot of it. There's there's countries that are run out of power to where they have to shut things down because they they have no, nothing to run their power plants and stuff with. And that stuff's not on, on the news. Weird things are on the news, and there, we always have our our normal thing. Um, Trump always going to be on the news I'll probably get a strike for saying his name the thing that happened in January we all know what it is that that's always on the news I, there's more important things that should be told to people like what's going on on our ports um, where, where the shortages come from and they're gonna they're blaming the truck drivers our media is blaming the truck drivers for this it's not their fault um, they're saying we're undermanned which w we will be as soon as certain things come come things happen to where they have to get it or not then we're, we'll start seeing shortages on truck drivers but the main thing is We'll go for Long Beach. When they you, they get the, this card, and they ha, they have to get the job, and it, it's all on this card. They put that card in once they get there, if they can get there on time, and if they, the computer system figures out, oh, he's in here, let's load him up so he can get out. And th and that's that that's for the trucks. That's they they also send things out on trains. So if it's if it's just just the truck drivers are, are fault, what? Why ain't they saying anything about the trains? Because there's a lot of stuff getting hauled on trains. Um, it's I, it's just an excuse because the main issue is the ports. They're normally they they're, they're stacked four or five high. Um, where, where they store all the, the containers these things are going up double triple of what they what they should have there's containers that's been sitting there for six to eight months that have have not been moved yet that's how back backed up we are but guys I'm, I'm gonna I don't want to keep on rambling and stuff like that and AC com things coming on stuff like that so I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here or this this video um, but I want to thank everybody for watching all the support the channels getting and everything like that and um, remember our um, our mil military support our military and that stuff God bless